doesn't it? Guys, the first thing, when people come to Dubai, the first thing they notice or the first thing everybody talks about is the safety and security here and the standards of living. That's the most remarkable thing about Dubai, right? We have been living here for some of you guys two years, five years, eight years, ten years, twenty years, and you haven't even touched the nozzle in the petrol pump. Someone else is putting petrol for you in your car. And you don't have to be rich for that, right? Or for many other things. If your light bulb gets burned, who changed the light bulb at home in Dubai? I haven't. Because there is some, or always there is someone to do it for you. The security or the facilities management. And you don't have to be rich to get these kind of services and many other services. Wherever you go, they open the doors for you, right? In the hotels, in the offices, in the buildings. Even at home, sometimes the watchman or the security opens the door for you. So these are the kind of services and standards of living that is very remarkable in Dubai. Or about safety and security. You don't really have to worry about uh, locking your car or locking your apartment or uh, going out late at night. Where else in the world are you not worried at all if your wife is out late in the night, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock? These are the, 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 the kind of things and stories that your international clients would love to hear. For us, it's normal. It has become normal. The safety and security that we are having here, the standard of living that we are having here, we have got used to it. It's very normal for us. But for them, it's not. It's a very big deal. So you can tell them these stories. You can tell them the last time that you kept your car open and you had a lot of cash in it. Or where else in the world, name one city in the world, that when you go to a restaurant, in order to reserve the table, you put your phone and your wallet. And then you go to washroom, you go to the buffet, you go to... Where else in the world do you reserve a table by putting your wallet and your phone on it? Where else in the world can you leave your jacket in the restaurant and go to a washroom and come back? So these are the things that, especially when it comes to international sales, your clients would love to hear. They want to know more about it. Are these stories real? Are these really happening? So they want to hear it from you. Okay. Um, one of the strongest reasons to invest in uh, uh, Dubai real estate market is this. The uh, USP Group is a Swiss multinational investment bank and financial services company which was founded and based in Switzerland. It was founded in 1862. It's one of the biggest wealth management and banks in the world. They are, their wealth management part, uh, their wealth management wing or arm is managing the largest amount of private wealth in the world, counting approximately half of the world's billionaires among its clients. Half of the world's billionaires' wealth is being managed by the UBS group. So UBS every year releases a report as a PDF file, which is downloadable and accessible for the public. I'm sure many of you have seen the 2020, 2021, and the previous year's versions. So it's a PDF file. It's like 30, 40 pages, available for everyone to download it. The report they are publishing every year is called Global Real Estate Bubble Index. In their uh, recent, uh, in, 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 in the Global Real Estate Bubble Index, they are showing the results of their studies and their researches about 25 cities, real estate markets. New York, Frankfurt, Dubai, uh, London, Paris, many, many markets they are comparing. And they are talking about it. In the latest report on the fifth page of this uh, Global Real Estate Bubble Index 2021, it's showing the risk of, man risk of investment in these markets. So as you see, there are 25 cities that they are comparing. Okay. So the red is showing this, is showing the risk of investment. Means in Frankfurt, 
you have the highest risk of bubble, the highest risk of investment, right? While in Dubai, Dubai is the only city among these 25 that is actually undervalued. Real estate in Dubai is underpriced. This is done by the end of 2021? End of 2021. It was released in January. Dubai is the only undervalued or underpriced real estate market among these 25. And they give this report after deeply studying many economic indexes, including GDP, real estate prices, recent increase in the prices, demand, supply, economic growth. So I'll send you the, 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 the whole report. I've shared it with you guys before. Go through it. On the last pages, you will see what are their sources in which countries they are getting data from central bank, where they are getting data from their ministry of economy or anything. What are the sources and what are the indexes that they are looking at? What are their indicators to, to, for these studies? So as you see, one strong reason for investment in Dubai real estate market is the fact that it has the lowest risk of investment and it's the only, it's hot. Sam, Sam, it's hot. Can you put it on 21, put both of them on 21. And it's the only market uh, that real estate prices are. So in another page of the same report, you have the rising prices. So the prices over the past five years, so this red marks are showing you the percentage of rise in the prices over the last five years means in Moscow, over the last five years, prices had an average of 7%. I'm sure there are many areas, many properties, many communities in Moscow where the prices are four times or five times higher than five years ago, right? Because in Dubai, for example, it's showing minus 5% by average. There have been areas where we had 20% reduction in prices over the past five years until end of 2021 I'm talking about. There are many areas where there have been 15%, 20% reduction in the prices. Many properties in Sports City, in Arjan, in JVC, those areas which we have been facing more oversupply and more new projects. And there have been areas which the prices doubled in 2021 compared to 2020. So, Increase over the, the price change over the last five years is marked by red. And the gray is showing year on year changes. So on year on year in Dubai, year on year, huh? 20 to 21. 20 to 21. In Dubai, year on year, we had an increase in price. In Moscow, you had the highest increase and the lowest increase. Actually, there was a reduction in San Francisco. New York, Paris, and Milan. But in all others, the prices have been increasing so much. In Dubai, it hasn't increased that much yet. By the way, the most important slide is this. Because this is what is showing the bubble index. And here, you're looking at the return on investment. In Dubai, as per the practice of the market, we mentioned return on investment in a percentage. Means we divide the rental amount or the net, net rental, net rental income or the gross rental income. We divide the rental income by the value of the property. If I'm renting, if I have a property that has a value of 1 million dirham and the rent is 100,000 dirhams, my ROI is 10%. So it's actually 100,000 divided by 1 million. Multiply by 100 to make it a percent. But in Europe, in many other countries, in many other cultures, they look at it the other way around. They will say, in how many years does the rental income cover the value of my property? So this is what you're looking at. In Dubai, since we have an average rental income of 7% per year, that means, where is Dubai? In, uh, yeah, in 17, in 15 to 20 years, you're, that's average. By the way, for commercial, it's higher. For industrial, it's higher. For industry, for labor camps, for example, anything less than 15% ROI is very less. 
in luxury properties in downtown, in the penthouses or in uh, Emirates Hills, uh, villas, anything more than 4% is too much, isn't it? So in luxury properties, prestigious properties, prime properties, you are always getting a higher capital appreciation and lower ROI. While in the affordable and economic areas, it's the, it's the other way around. You get higher ROI and less capital appreciation. Where do you get the highest ROI in Dubai? In residence, residential properties, international city, discovery gardens, what else? JVT. JVT. JVT is a... So the highest are international city, JVT, and discovery gardens. In these areas, you're getting the highest uh, ROI, approximately 9%, sometimes 10%. Okay. When it comes to commercial, 12% is not a big deal. When it comes to industrial, labor camp, warehouses, these kind of stuff, 15% is not a big deal. Hotels. Right. Uh, hotels, five-star hotels, 4% is too much. In five-star hotels, you don't get more than, again, same similar story. But hotel apartments and these stuff, five to six percent. But five star hotels, anything more than 3.5, 4% is a big deal. 